19, the disciples of John, he was alluding to. Think about this. What was the difference between the two baptisms? They were in water. It was by immersion. That's good. Required repentance. It was a man of God. It was the will of God. John's That's baptism good. was the will of God for his time. What was the difference? The only difference was their new understanding of That's Jesus. That's so good. And calling the name of Jesus. That's so good. Now, in our Western culture, this is a common thought. Well, now that I understand it, well, God accepts my baptism. Well, if it's just the same, I was already baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Well, wouldn't that just be the same as long as I understand it? That's the way we think. But if you go back to the apostolic practice, in the Bible, faith is not primarily what you think. Faith is primarily what you obey. So... It's to me, in my legal training, I would accept this argument. Oh, well, now that I understand it, that's just as good. But Paul said, no, I'm going to baptize you a second time specifically to take on the name of Jesus. Yep. So here's what I would say. If somebody's already been baptized some other way, I'm not here to attack you or condemn you. In a world of millions of people that care less about following the Lord, if you took a step of baptism, Very good. I appreciate Commend that. You. I think God appreciates that. All I would say is don't be satisfied with the step you took formerly. Now that you understand more clearly who Jesus is and what the New Testament says, don't be satisfied with your previous step, but confess your faith by action, by taking on the name of Jesus. And by the way, it won't hurt you. Taking on the name.